So we have another problem uh, that has to do with uh, finding the test for convergence. So pretty much test for convergence. Pretty much see if, uh, if this converges or not. A uh, couple of the hints. If you see ever, if you ever see negative one to the k, always, always use alternating series tests. So negative one to the k, alternating Alright. So since this is negative one to the k, we're gonna use alternating. Okay, so some of the criteria for alternating series, then there's three criteria, and all three of them must be met in order for it to satisfy and be convergent. So let's look at the criteria. Alternating. First rule, alternating. The word alternate means negative one for k. If it means negative one for the k, one's gonna be positive, one's gonna be negative. One's gonna be positive, one's gonna be negative. Or negative one to the k plus one. That's also does this, that's the exact same thing. It just alternates in a different way, but it's still alternating. So that's rule number one. Rule number two. Increasing. It must decrease. If it's not decreasing, it doesn't work. So let's look at this one. There's k's on the top, but there's k's at the bottom. And which means that it will decrease because it's double. Okay. And this one is 10 to 0. Doesn't mean it'll equal 0. It means it will 10 to 0 as a sub k goes to infinity. Sorry. k. As k goes to infinity. As k gets bigger, this will tend to 0. Which is true. If you can see it's bigger. Bottom. All right, so first these three criteria must meet. Then we know that this is convergent. But then there's two kind of convergence. Conditionally convergent or absolutely convergent. So if yes, absolute. Conditionally absolute the, the, the way you check for these is you ignore the negative one to the k. Pretty much you take the absolute value of the equation of this. So you would ignore that absolute value bars. And then use any 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 um, test that you know to see if it converges or not. In this case we have factorials. In one of the videos I mentioned that if, if you ever see factorials, use the ratio test. So after ignoring this, we'll take the ratio test and see if it converges or not. If it does converge due to ratio test, it'll be absolutely convergence. If it doesn't, it'll be conditionally convergence. But it still converges as long as these three factors are met for this equation. All right? So. Let's get started with the ratio test. So pretty much we have a new function. It's uh, just k factorial times k factorial over 2k factorial. So I'll just get, um, <clears throat> get started with the procedure for ratio test. k plus 1 factor oh, factorial, which is k plus 1 times k factorial k plus 1 times k factorial 
2k plus 2, 2k plus 1, 2k. Times the reciprocal, which is 2k, 2k plus 1, 2k plus 1. These cancel. Leaves you with k, 2k plus 2, plus 1. So we're going to multiply it out, kind of. And if you do, you see you get k squared plus 2k plus 1 over 4k squared plus, uh, what is it, 6k plus 2. Let's see here, for you get 4 plus 6, yeah, just get Okay, so now, and once you get the simplified, you take the limit of k approaching infinity. So, the way you take the limit, this is the simple algebra. Uh, to, um, you know the thing where if it's, um, if you take the limit of an algebraic equation, you only look at, you only compare the highest power, so this is 2 and 2, so you ignore that. And you take the coefficient if they're the same. So this is 2 equals 2, it's the coefficient. So the answer is 1 fourth. And due to the ratio test, we know that since 1 fourth is less than 1, converge. And since this converges, that, the original function, this one, absolutely converges. 